Welcome to Geology Simply Explained. In this video, we're going to explain the greenstone belt geology and the deposit types known as orogenic gold deposits. Greenstone belts form in the collisional zones of tectonic plates and orogenic gold deposits can form within these greenstone belts. Many collisional zones exist around the globe with one of the largest and oldest located in the Flin Flon region of eastern Saskatchewan. The initial North American continent was forged by the collision of several large tectonic plates known as cratons. These cratons comprise some of the oldest known rocks from the Archean Age. Archean rock is the initial rock that formed during the very early days of Earth, when the Earth had cooled enough to allow its initial crust of rock to solidify. The collision zone of these cratons occurred about 2 billion years ago and is known as the Trans-Hudson Orogeny. It formed the Precambrian Canadian Shield and the initial North American continent. The suture zone of the Trans-Hudson Orogeny forms a right angle, centered in northeastern Saskatchewan, creating a geological environment stretching from the Dakotas in the south to James Bay in the north. This is the largest orogenic belt of its kind in the world. The word orogeny comes from ancient Greek and literally translates as mountain creation. Along this suture in eastern Saskatchewan, we have what is known as the Flin Flon Greenstone Belt. The greenstone name arises from the green hue of the rocks that compose it. Imagine the cataclysmic environment of this collisional zone as it was occurring. It caused enormous uplifting that built mountains as high as 12 kilometers, extensive faulting and created a lot of pressure and heat, resulting in the movement of hot water deep within these rocks. As the water cycled through the rocks, it dissolved silica and metals such as gold, silver, and copper, along with many other minerals, including sulfur. When this water, let's call it a solution, began to cool, experienced a change in pressure, encountered rocks of different chemistry, or any combination of these factors. The scavenged metals and minerals within this solution began to precipitate out, resulting in mineral deposits within these faults. These deposits are often in the form of quartz veins, due to the solidification of the silica. In order to locate this type of deposit of economical size, we look for areas where large quartz veins occur within rocks of the proper chemistry. Large veining can occur in the voids created by the movement of rock in the opposite direction on either side of a fault in the vicinity of a flexure. These voids are known as ore chutes. Keep in mind, this process was taking place billions of years ago somewhere around 10 to 15 kilometers below the Earth's surface in a torturous environment of heat and pressure, ideal for mineralization. Today, there are no significant mountain ranges in Saskatchewan. Erosion has removed many kilometers of material, creating its current appearance of relatively low relief. So today, when we're exploring the greenstone belt of the Flin Flon region, we are literally walking over the exposed roots of these ancient mountains. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it may help your understanding of the process that forms orogenic gold systems. Thanks for watching.